Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Another conflict threatens to push gas prices even higher as Yemen rebels escalating attacks on Saudi Arabia, targeting its critical oil and gas facilities and says it won't bear any responsibility for oil prices. The markets are already reacting with crude oil up $1.20, hitting more than $113 a barrel. Well, a federal judge has denied motions by former officials in the Flint water crisis bellwether trial. The judge shut down three motions filed by the defendants. They claim it would be pointless to appear at trial because they plan to plead the fifth to all questions. The trial will determine if two engineering companies were negligent in the water crisis. Attorneys filed the suit on behalf of four children claiming their injuries were caused by exposure to lead in the city's drinking water. Well, the parents of the teen accused in the Oxford High School shooting are back in court today for a pretrial hearing. Jennifer and James Crumbly are each charged with four counts of involuntary manslaughter. They have both pleaded not guilty for all four counts. Their trial is set for 10 a.m. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thanks, Colette. We do have a rainy stretch in the middle of this week, tracking rainfall that'll come in this Tuesday evening into Wednesday and also parts of Thursday. That rain's still ongoing as we go farther off to the southwest in the plains. Quite a large storm system that's still making its way towards us. But during the daytime on this Tuesday, just looking at overcast skies with a few spotty showers. But by 7 to 8 o'clock, that's when that rain moves into our southern row of counties first and then continuing to move northward through the overnight hours. Now tomorrow morning, very briefly, we could have some freezing rain in our northern row of counties, but then temperatures get back up above freezing, so not looking to be too much of an issue, not looking to have any major impacts with that. But that rain continues through Wednesday morning. A few breaks in that rain midday on Wednesday, and then a few isolated thunderstorms also popping up later in the afternoon on Wednesday. No severe weather is expected, but that would still provide some rumbles of thunder and a few locally heavier downpours. As far as rainfall totals go, looking to be around three quarters of an inch to one and one quarter inches all the way from Tuesday evening through Thursday morning, so it is spread out over a longer period of time, but still overall looking quite impressive for the middle of this week. Here's our high temperatures for today, looking at 40s if you're farther inland, but our northern counties and the immediate lakeshore still holding on to the 30s with our easterly wind, and that wind actually picking up in speed overnight tonight past midnight, gusts reaching up to 30 to 35, possibly even close to 40 miles per hour on the immediate lakeshore as that wind will still have an easterly direction. Overall, just looking wet and windy to start off on Wednesday morning. 70 forecast is highs in the middle 40s pretty consistently for the rest of the week. We are drier though by the end of the weekend, Sunday into Monday, looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies and just partly cloudy on Monday, but then a little cooler highs only in the 30s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.